Now, the last 10 years of K-pop have been quite a roller coaster, and I truly believe that we're living in the most exciting generation of K-pop ever. A little disclaimer, this is not meant to be a comprehensive list of everything that's happened in K-pop in the last decade. That would, well, be impossible. I tried to keep this list down to activities and events that truly change K-pop. Things that have never been done before, special achievements, and truly noteworthy events. Additionally, BTS has had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of achievements and events, so I tried to keep the list pretty reasonable. Otherwise, it would just be an hour worth of BTS stuff. So, let's go back and recap what's happened in K-pop for the last decade. Starting off the decade, January 4, 2010, 4 Minutes Hyuna had her solo debut with Change. January 14, 2010, CN Blue debuted with Blue Tori. June 3, 2010, Sistar debuted with Push Push. July 1, 2010, Miss A debuted with Bad Girl, Good Girl. November 6, 2011, Big Bang wins Best Worldwide Act and Best Asia Act at the Europe Music Awards. This marks the first major award for a K-pop artist outside of Korea. December 19, 2011, Girls' Generation's Japanese album, Girls' Generation, becomes the highest-selling girl group album of all time. March 15, 2012, Nuis debuts with Face. April 8, 2012, EXO debuts with Mama. July 15, 2012, Psy's viral single Gangnam Style is released. September 15, 2012, Gangnam Style peaks at number 1 on the iTunes song chart, the first in Korean history. October 6, 2012, Gangnam Style peaks at number 2 on the Billboard Hot 100, the highest ever for a Korean artist. November 24, 2012, Gangnam Style passes Justin Bieber's Baby to become the most watched YouTube video of all time and later breaking 1 billion views. January 6, 2013, Kara becomes the first female foreign act to perform a Tokyo Dome show. January 19th, 2013, Girls' Generation's I Got A Boy hits number one on the Billboard World Charts, the highest ever for a girl group. June 12, 2013, BTS debuts with Too Cool For School. August 22, 2013, Sony has her solo debut with 24 hours. November 10th, 2013, All K-Pop publishes unauthorized photos of Ailey, starting a controversial scandal on All K-Pop's part. December 29th, 2013, SBS releases a collaboration friendship project for charity with a song entitled, You Are a Miracle. It features 125 idols, including IU, EXO, Beast, 2PM, Sonyo Side, CN Blue, Big Bang, Ailey, FX, Kara, 21, Miss A, Shiny, A Pink, Super Junior, JYP, and many, many other idols. Basically the Korean version of We Are The World. May 27, 2014, Big Bang wins World's Best Group, World's Best Live Act, and World's Best Video of the Year at the World Music Awards. August 1, 2014, Red Velvet debut with Happiness. September 2, 2014, Ladies Code gets into a horrible car accident. Members Unbi passes away at the scene, and later Rise passes away due to injuries sustained. September 29th, 2014, Jessica is forced out of Girls' Generation, stating, I'm devastated. My priority and love is to serve as a member of Girls' Generation, but for no justifiable reason, I'm being forced out. October 8th, 2014, a YouTube channel by the name of Farkill uploads a solo cam of EXID's Honey, oftentimes recognized as the first fan cam ever and effectively single-handedly responsible for jumpstarting EXID's career as they were relatively unknown at the time. The fan cam is currently sitting at 30 million views. January 15, 2015, GFriend debuts with Glass Bead. April 25th, 2015, Big Bang starts their Made World Tour, the biggest Korean concert tour of all time and the biggest US concert tour made by a Korean artist. 66 shows in 15 countries. May 26, 2015, 17 debuts with Adore You. August 6, 2015, Sully officially leaves FX due to mental exhaustion. October 6, 2015, Taeyeon has her solo debut with I. October 20th, 2015, TWICE debuted with Like Ooh Ah after winning the survival show, 16. January 15, 2016, Kara disbands after almost 9 years. 
January 22nd, 2016, the survival show Produce 101 premieres. The first survival show of this manner, 101 trainees from different agencies participate, and the winners would go on to form an 11-member group, later debuting as IOI with Dreamgirls. April 15, 2016, NCTU debuts with 7th Sense. April 17, 2016, Epic High performs at Coachella, the first K-pop group to ever perform on the stage. August 8, 2016, Blackpink debuts with Boom Ba Ya and Whistle. October 5, 2016, Heejin debuts as the start of Luna's never done before two year debut project. October 25, 2016, 21 disbands after only seven years. January 29, 2017, IOI disbands after one year. May 21st, 2017, BTS wins Best Social Artist at Billboard Music Awards. June 4th, 2017, Sistar disbands after 7 years. June 6th, 2017, Cheungha has her solo debut with Why Don't You Know. August 7th, 2017, 101 debuts with Energetic. November 19, 2017, BTS perform at the AMAs, making their US debut and also the first K-pop act to ever perform at a major US award show. December 18th, 2017, Chinese Zhang Yan passes away. December 27, 2017, Miss A disbands after only 7 years. February 11, 2018, Girls' Generation Sohyun performs with North Korea's Sanjion Orchestra in a pro unification concert. February 24, 2018, EXO and CL perform at the Korean Winter Olympics. April 1, 2018, Red Velvet performs for Kim Jong-un in North Korea for a pro-unification concert. May 27, 2018, BTS earns their first number one album on the Billboard 200 chart with Love Yourself, Tear, the first Korean artist in history to hit number one on the Billboard 200. June 15, 2018, Produce 48 premieres as a joint project between Mnet and Japan's AKB48. Later, Eyes One would debut as the winners of the Survival Series. August 20th, 2018, Luna debuts with Hi Hi, thus concluding the longest and most expensive debut project in history at $8.9 million. September 2nd, 2018, BTS earns their second number one album on the Billboard 200 chart with Love Yourself, Answer. September 24th, 2018, RM of BTS speak at the UN as part of UNICEF's new campaign. November 5th, 2018, TWICE releases Yes or Yes, afterwards becoming THE top selling girl group of all time. December 20th, 2018, TWICE earns 11th Taesang, the most for a girl group of all time. January 27, 2019, 101 disbands after one year. January 28, 2019, the biggest scandal in Korean entertainment hits at the Burning Sun Club, involving many celebrities and idols and leading to the arrest of Jung Jun Young and Choi Jung Hoon. April 12, 2019, Blackpink becomes the first girl group to perform at Coachella. April 15, 2019, Blackpink's Kill This Love peaks at number 24 on the Billboard 200 the highest ever for a girl group. April 21st, 2019, BTS earns third number one album on the Billboard 200 with Map of the Soul, Persona. April 22nd, 2019, BTS's Boy With Love peaks at number eight on the Hot 100, the highest ever for a boy group. May 2nd, 2019, BTS's Map of the Soul Persona becomes the highest selling album in the world in 2019 over every Western artist, including Billie Eilish and Post Malone. June 25th, 2019, BTS's Map of the Soul Persona becomes the highest selling album in Korean history. October 14th of 2019, Sully of FX passes away. November 7, 2019, Anjun Young admits to manipulating votes for Produce 48 and Produce X101, and later Produce 101 Season 1 and 2 were also found to be rigged. November 24, 2019, Guhara of Kata passes away. December 13, 2019, Luna's 365 hits number one on the iTunes singles chart, becoming the first girl group in history to have a number one single and number one album on iTunes. December 27, 2019, the decade for K-pop comes to a close with a collaboration of 150 different artists. 
twice, BTS, GOT7, NCT, TXT, 17, Mamamoo, G-Friend, ITZY, Red Velvet, and many others all stand together in unison as they ring in the new year and effectively a new decade for K-pop. K-pop has achieved so much in the last decade. It's one of the fastest growing music industries in the whole entire world, and it's amazing to see its growth. It is truly a time to be alive. Hey guys, so today actually marks a special day. Today marks the year anniversary of this channel, The Asian Theory. Yay! So I just wanted to thank you guys, my viewers, my subscribers for supporting this channel, for supporting me, my brother, and all of our videos. Because of you guys, because of our viewers, we've been able to make a lot of creative, awesome content. So when I started this channel a year ago, my goal was by the end of the year, I wanted to hit 100,000 subscribers, but uh, it looks like I might fall a bit short. That just means I need to work harder to create better and more creative content for you guys. So. Thanks for everything. Here's to uh, one year with the Asian Theory and hopefully many more.